someone had in our group had asked about fashion. They were concerned about, you know, how do you dress? We want to be comfortable, but we're going to the office and we're seeing patients. And yeah. so the question came up, you know, who could help us? And uh, there was a very nice female physician who stepped up, Dr. Paula is all about media. So she did a great presentation there. Okay. And I wanted to, and, and someone had recommended you love. So we wanted you to come into the group and, and talk about what you do. And I know that you had a presentation for us. Yes. So tell us, like introduce yourself and, and what you do and how, how you got into fashion and how you help people now. Definitely. Um, thank you again for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm Ivanya Easley. I am a certified personal stylist and I help busy professional men and women, but especially women, make sure that their image on the outside matches what's going on on the inside. So I work with busy doctors, lawyers, executives, and just professionals that really want to make sure their brand is matching up. So, you know, you have your website, you have your business cards, you have your brochures or all your branding materials. You need to also make sure you don't leave yourself out of the equation and making sure your personal brand and image matches up to all of your um, materials. So I want to give you all a quick presentation on the power of image and style. And it's really not about the clothes. It's about how they make you feel and change your mindset and the psychology uh, feeling that confidence when you know you look good from head to toe and then you can go out here the overview of the presentation where I'm going to talk about dress for success the mindset by the numbers which are the statistics then I'm going to give you a few style tips and then give you a little more information about how I help busy professionals do you struggle to get noticed by the right people do great opportunities pass you by if so how would you like to turn that around and what would it feel like to finally land that dream job, get promoted at work, secure that new contract, attract the love of your life, look like a million bucks? If any of this sounds good, you're in the right place. Let me show you how with fashion and personal style that can help you do all of that and more. I truly believe that we can have anything in life if we dress for it. So it's all about matching that mindset with your outward appearance. And we at my company help you identify and create a personal style that reflects who you are. So I don't dress any of my clients alike. I work with clients from a size zero to a size 28 so far with women. Short, tall, thin, lean, all races, all nationalities, all careers. So there is style for everybody. And I always say that style doesn't have a size or shape. So you don't have to be lose weight before you start dressing nice or gain weight before you start dressing nice. You can look good wherever you're at in life or whatever stage you're at in life right now. So with our company, we help you identify your personal style and how you want the world to see you and how you want to show up and making sure you look professional, but also reflect who you are. Um, and these are just a few of my clients, as I call it, that I took from um, drab to fab. Um, this is a three times board certified dermatologist. She's up north. And this was one of her compliments or testimonials for me is that every time she wears something I put together, that's the only time she gets compliments. And she is not a size four, so she was just stressing that I helped her feel good and look good at the size that she's in. Um, and she also included that even from down to her underwear, because she had me also buy her undergarments, because also what you wear underneath your clothes is going to showcase how your clothes fit properly. So if you're not wearing the bright undergarments and far as bras, panties, control wear, then that can affect how your clothes look on the outside. And this is also another client. She's an attorney. She has her own practice. And she just needed help because she's a speaker, she's busy, and she's professional. And just wanted somebody that could help put her style together and she not have to worry about it, but know that she would show up looking well. She had a magazine feature, so I dressed her for that. Love. She and looks really gorgeous. Really, thank really you. Job. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And then I also dress men. So um, I have an anchor. He's on MSNBC. And this is a picture as a, on the left, how he looked before he got in my hands. And that's a picture of him on the right, um, suited and booted. And he was one of those non-believers because he's super intellectual. And he just was like, I don't get, you know, style. It doesn't matter. But he's on air every day, and it makes a difference with your grooming and how you present yourself, especially when you're on TV every day. So once we transformed his style, he started to get so many compliments where they would say, we love what you said on air, but we loved your tie, or we loved your suit. He started to kind of feel that confidence, and that's also when he secured the contract with MSNBC. Before that, he was just hopping from station to station. Nobody would offer him a contract. So it definitely helped to 
finish polishing him. He was already there mentally, but he needed to finish the look on the outside to bring it all together to give that polished package that they wanted him to show on air. And so I can help you with closet organization, purging, style consoles, and personal shopping. So I always say that the foundation of your wardrobe is your closet. That's where you go get dressed. That's where all your clothes are housed, hopefully. So we have to really start with your closet, see what you have going on in your closet, and then we can build off your closet so that when you're buying things, they work with what you already have versus buying things and they have to go buy more things to go with the things that you just bought. So if we start with that closet, we can kind of scratch that off the um, premise. And then style consoles is where I really get into you personally, your lifestyle, your budget. Um, you know, are you a mom? So you need things that you may need to wear to play dates or you're single and you're not wanting to be single. So you want things that can transition after work into nighttime. Um, and then lastly, of course, and the fun part is the personal shopping where we actually go and shop for the pieces that's going to reflect best who you are. And like I said earlier, you can have anything if you dress for it, because when you look good, you feel good, you do good and you accomplish more. When you dress well, you also show respect for yourself and others. Investing in your appearance signals your commitment to your company as well as your personal brand. So everyone is not entrepreneurs, but a lot of us are um, working at a company, but you may be doing side where you may be building your own, own brand outside of your company, or you have your own company and you're building your brand, then you definitely want to make sure that you're showing up in a way that shows you respect yourself and respects others time, especially when you're trying to get a new contract or seal the deal or a new client yourself, then, you know, dressing for success matters. And if you think about it, you know, when you go work in your yard, you dress a certain way versus when you go to church or when you go do a presentation. So it's just being mindful of when you show up certain places, you want to show up well. Because we do see people first. Light travels faster than sound. So I see you before I hear you. So when I do see you, it should match up to what's coming out of your mouth. So we definitely want to look as smart as you are because mostly everyone I've worked for is super smart. And I'm just bringing out that external factor so that it all, again, matches up. Dress for where you want to go and not where you're at. And if you're already where you want to be, then dress the part. Um, this is the perfect pie, according to Harvey Coleman. And 10% is performance, but 30% is image and 60% is exposure. This really got to me because I didn't realize, even in this, that other people saw that image was important. 30% is image. But the thing is, with the 60% being exposure, when you're exposed, what does your image look like? So if you're 60% exposed, you want to make sure that 30% is helping that 60. And then the 10%, of course, is your performance. So you also want to, when you're out there networking or um, connecting with people or selling those deals or having those meetings, then that's your exposure. You want to be dressed apart. And then those two together, they're going to want to hire you for your performance. But you see, performance is a lot smaller than what we would think. Love, where does this come from? Do you like, are there study, other studies, are the people that support this, like such a lot? Uh, yes, I, I, I'll get to that in the slide. Sorry. It's, yeah, it's coming up, it's coming up. <laughs> um, the way we dress affects the way we think and feel and the way others think and feel about us and how they react to us. So certain colors will make you, people react to you in certain ways. If you notice for weddings, the colors are usually light, the bride wears white. When we go to funerals, the color is black because black is a more, um, um, what's the word for it? I wanna think. It's a, um, it is a color that is not making people feel the light that's coming out of you, basically. It is a submissive color, a color that a lot of people like to go to because they feel like it's safe, but there are other dark colors that you can wear if you wanna stay in the dark colors, like a dark purple or a dark green or a dark burgundy. So you don't always have to wear black. And I know a lot of people think, oh, well, if I wear black, I'll look slimmer. And you can wear other dark colors and it's gonna do the same effect as black. But black doesn't show me anything about your personality. So you definitely want to you know, showcase some of who you are with how you dress. And style by numbers is 85% of people wearing clothes that don't work for their lifestyle, body, or personality. 25% is the amount of your wardrobe you actually wear. So that means most of what you have, you're not wearing. Most clients are gravitating towards the same 10, 20 pieces in their closet, and they're just wearing them over and over and over again or trying to rework them. 
and then 75% of the clothes you're on, you're not wearing, and they're no longer serving you. So you shouldn't keep things that are no longer serving you. Um, if you're in your 40s and you still have things from when you were in college in your 20s, that's not who you are now, as well as it may not even fit. It's been washed a thousand times. You want to make sure that you're staying up to date with your style the same way you're staying up to date with your education or the way you learn for your business or your company. You want to make sure you're also evolving your style as you evolve as a professional and an adult. Um, another study done by Career Builder is 41% of employers promote well-dressed associates over those who, not, who do not dress for success, as well as 51% in financial and sales industries emphasize promoting well-dressed employees. And with the financials and sales, especially financials, if someone is handling your money like financial advisors or bankers, that's why they have a dress code a lot of the times in the bank. You don't, you, you see them in a blazer, you see them in a suit and tie, because when someone's handling your money, which is one of the most important things to us, you really want to feel like, you know, they're competent. And it doesn't mean that they are by the way they're dressed, but we feel more confident in that person and also in our financial institutions, whether that's the bank, financial advisors, or you're in the financial arena in any career. And the same thing with sales, because you're selling to people. They want to feel like before I hire you for the job, do they feel like you're the person for that job? And part of that is how you present yourself in your dress, your confidence, your mannerisms, and your grooming. So it's not just your dress. You want to make sure your nails are clean, shoes are polished, hair comb, cut, styled appropriately, et cetera. I always say like makeup is to enhance your natural beauty. Clothing is to enhance your natural style, your personal style. Um, women, we wear makeup, but it's not so that we look like a totally different person when we take it off. It's just to highlight our best features where it may be your cheekbones, your lips, your eyes. So style is the same way. You want to enhance your style to re best reflect the best version of you. Um, here are a few uh, style tips. It's dressing for your skin tone, your body type, and your size. Um, certain skin tones, different colors will look better on your skin tone than others. Um, the other thing I would say about that, though, is most every color comes in a variety of colors. So, for example, people say, oh, I don't look good in yellow. It's about finding the right shade of yellow because there's mustard yellow, there's sunny yellow, there's golden yellow, there's different shades. So every color, the basic colors, red, blue, black, brown, etc., they have different shades that come. So when there's blue, there's cobalt blue, there's turquoise blue, there's sky blue, there's teal blue. So it's about finding the shades that work for you in different colors. So it doesn't mean necessarily you can't wear certain colors. It's just about finding the shade of that color that works best for your skin tone and, you know, what you like personally. Um, you want to showcase your personality through your wardrobe. So that may be fun accessories or statement accessories. And you may be wearing more conservative wardrobe, but you may want to play with your accessories or your belts or your handbags um, or a, maybe a great coat in the wintertime. That may be your statement piece. Or you may want to go a little bit further with your actual outfit and then wear less accessory because your outfit is very bold or very bright. Um, you also want to wear garments that fit you properly. So it's important to include a good seamstress and alterations into your wardrobe. So every client appointment I work with, I include alterations. So if clients need an alteration, we're going to make sure that it's going to look like it's made for you perfectly. It's really hard to buy off the rack because most of the time, it's rare to find a piece off the rack that looks like it was made for you. So sometimes there's just little tweaks, a little inch here, a little inch there that can make something look like it was made specifically for you. You also want to wear, again, things that flatter you. I always say maximize your assets and minimize your flaws. So great legs, you may want to wear um, great skirts, great dresses. If you have bigger or smaller bosom, you want to wear things that either minimize that if you don't want it to be as obvious or maximize it if you have a smaller chest and you want it to um, look a little bigger. So there's ways that you can dress to emphasize and create silhouettes and create the illusion of some of the things that you may want that you were not necessarily born with. And here's a few examples of a few other professionals and families I've worked with. Um, I dress one family for their Christmas pictures every single year. So um, it's funny, I just got the Christmas pictures back this year. And those two little boys are now are like 18 and 14 now. But here, they were um, like maybe 10 and 12. 
So it's been nice to see them grow up and be able to work with that family every year for the past few years. And then I've also done um, a few editorials for magazines. Um, I've done a couple of movies, but I really love working with the one-on-one -on -one real person in real life. So I have done the entertainment and the editorial industry and entertainment industry, but I really love working with women one-on-one. -on -one. So that's why most of my clientele is private professional clients that do not have the time, desire, or expertise to go out and put their image together. So it's one less thing for them to think about if I take care of it for them. And you can contact me. Um, these are my social medias as well as my website. And then I also have a, a style app um, here for anybody in Atlanta, Georgia, where we actually, you can order a stylist on demand. So someone from my style team will come out and help you with your wardrobe. But it is our version of having fast style on demand. So if you don't want to wait for an appointment or you don't want to wait a couple of weeks, you can use the app and somebody can come and help you within 48 hours to shop for you or help you in your current wardrobe. Any questions? I do. There is one question. It's a question is from Alexis. She asks, I never know what to wear on my legs when I wear short dress in the winter. Do I wear sheer pantyhose, old peg, leggings? What's the trend nowadays? Tights. 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 Wear, wear tights. Um, I always say you can always have fun with tights. And then it, again, if you're wearing something shorter, if you're wearing dark tights, it'll almost look like you're covered without actually wearing a pair of pants or tights underneath your skirt or your dress. So if it is a little bit shorter and let's say it's a burgundy dress, then you could also wear a dark pair of blue, dark blue, because it looks good with burgundy, dark blue tights underneath it. And you can also have fun with it if you feel like that's not pushing the envelope too much where you can wear a dark blue with a pattern. It may be a lace pattern or it may be um, the lines in it. Not necessarily fishnet, but different patterns that tights come in. So all winter long, I encourage clients, if you wanna still wear your dresses or skirts or if a dress or skirt is a little short, then wearing tights is gonna make it not seem like, wow, all your legs are out. It's just subduing the outfit a little bit, but still being able to showcase your dress or skirt. What should every woman have in their closet? I would say you wanna always have one great dress that fits you very, very well, um, because you could always wear that from day to night dress it up or dress it down with accessories. You want to have a great tailored pant for the same reason, a great pair of jeans if you wear jeans for the same reason, and then a great coat. And the thing is you don't have to have a lot of clothes. It's just about investing in quality. If you don't want to have a lot of clothes, you don't have to look like you're coming fresh off the runway or be couture to be stylish. Um, I just had a private shopping party for a client yesterday and they brought everyone out and we closed one of my boutiques down and I gave them styling lessons and helped them actually shop in the store. And they really enjoyed it. They weren't sure what to expect. But when they got there, they could see like, oh, wow, I see the vision now having somebody help me put pieces together. So it's not about having a lot of clothes. It's about knowing what to do with the clothes that you have. So a lot of pieces you can dress up or dress down by just adding and changing your shoe out or changing out your accessories or adding a coat. And then the other thing, depending on where you live, at least here in Atlanta, in the South, it only gets but so cold. So a lot of pieces can transition from season to season. So you may have a slip dress that you wore in the spring, summer. In the winter, you can add tights and layer it with a cardigan and then belt it and then throw a leather jacket over it and wear it with some boots. And now that same slip dress that you wore with sandals is now used for fall. More so knowing about how to style it, which is where I really come in and help people with the styling portion, if you already own a lot of clothes, or at least making sure we're buying clothes that work for your lifestyle and then styling it properly. Love, thanks for the presentation. Yeah, really, definitely. Really Thank you for having me.